Yo, what is up guys? Anthony here back with another Destiny Child video. In today's video, I have part 3 of the Ruby to Platinum series here on the second account. So let's get right into it. The first team I'll be facing here for you guys consists of Dino, Dana, Gunslinger, Hilder, Mafdat, and Neptune. Now the unit on this team that I'll be telling you all more about is Gunslinger Hilder. Let's go over what she does. Hilder's leader skill is Drive Skill Final Blow plus 20% for attacker allies. In PvP, Drive Gauge Charge Amount plus 10 added for all allies. Next here we have her Tap Skill which deals 495 damage, 70% chance to grant ranged attack, ignores enemies taunt and reflect to self for 18 seconds, and in PvP only 70% chance to grant focus, accuracy up, and 100% crit to self for 18 seconds. Next we have her slide skill here which deals 961 damage 2 times and 150 bonus damage to 2 enemies, priority lowest HP. And in PvP only, 600 ignore defense damage to 2 enemies, priority lowest HP. Last of all we have our drive skill which deals 2506 damage to all enemies. Now let's go over on why she is amazing for PvP and why she is one of the top attackers for Devil Rumble. First of all, she's pretty hard to obtain based on how you only can get her from the House of Reincarnation. Secondly, she has an amazing skill set that is PvP focused overall. Third of all, her slide skill is a 4 hit slide and on her tap skill she has a 70% chance to grant focus in which during fever time she will have accuracy up and 100% chance to crit. And last year she focuses lowest HP enemies and deals bonus damage to them as well which makes for faster PvP matches in a whole. The next team we have here consists of Eve, Tissiphone, Detective Girl, Sanet, and Moa. The unit we'll be going over on this team is Cube Moa. Moa's leader skill is Dark Enemy Debuff Evasion Rate minus 10%. Next we have her Tap skill which deals 381 damage to target and Debuff Evasion Rate minus 10% for 8 seconds long. Next is her slide skill which deals 595 damage to 2 enemies with the highest attack and a 70% chance to petrify, unable to act for 10, sec 10 seconds or, or after being attacked 2 times. Last here we have her drive skill which deals 2096 damage to 2 random enemies and 90% chance to petrify, unable to act for 15 seconds long or after being hit 3 times. Now let's go over on why Moa is a top tier debuffer in Devil Rumble. First of all, she has Petrify on her slide skill and drive skill which is a very strong ability due to how it stacks and affects the two highest attacker enemies constantly. Secondly, Moa works very well in a damage over time comp based on how DOT doesn't affect Petrify's stacks. The last team we'll be facing here consists of Senga, Eve, Dana, Neptune, and Irado. The unit we'll be going over on this team comp guys is Irado. Let's get right into it. Irado's leader skill is maximum HP plus 500 to all allies. Next we have her tap skill which deals 230 damage to target and a 50% chance to remove silence from an ally. Irado's slide skill gives 60 HP regeneration for 16 seconds to two allies with the lowest HP and a 70% chance to remove bleeding and poison buff from two allies. Next we have her drive skill here which deals 1070 damage to 2 random enemies, give reflect, returns 10% of damage received for 20 seconds to 2 allies with the lowest HP. Now let's go over on why Irado is so great for PvP. First of all, Irado can remove other types of damage over times as well, unless they're specifically mentioned to be irremovable. Secondly. She is only a 4 star unit which makes her easier to obtain but requires higher round caps to function as a healer due to her low base healing. Last of all, she works very well to counter damage over time units and she works great with Cube Moa. Alright guys, so that's part 3 of the Ruby to Platinum series. Up on the screen here I have my equips for my team comp as of now. I know a few of you were asking about them so here you guys go. I know it's not the best equipment for them right now but we are just starting on this account for PvP. We are ending this week in silver, which is pretty good for just starting to try in Devil Rumble on the second account. As for the upcoming Devil Rumble week, I'm expecting us to make silver five or maybe even gold if we play enough, but we'll see what happens, everyone. 
Also guys, if you would like to add me on this account, I'll place my friend code in the comments below and the description as well. So feel free to send me a friend request as I don't really have any friends on this account and I'll be sure to add all of you guys. Now, I hope you all enjoyed the video and feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you're enjoying the Destiny Child content and haven't already done so. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.